Is Amazon's The Boys the most realistic superhero show to date? To even begin answering this question, we have to agree on what realistic means in the context of superhero shows. First off, The Boys takes the superhero genre and flips it on its head. Instead of the cape-clad heroes being the penultimate good guys, they're deeply flawed and in many cases, downright evil. What's realistic about The Boys isn't the superpowers or the over-the-top violence. It's the show's dark reflection of society and our current obsession with celebrity culture. The superheroes in The Boys are commoditized, their images are meticulously crafted by corporations, and their behavior is far from heroic. This is a cynical take on the real world, where social media influencers and celebrities can sometimes play the hero while hiding less than savory actions behind the scenes. Let's take Homelander, for instance. On the surface, he's America's superhero, but dive a little deeper, and we find a narcissistic and sociopathic individual. He's the embodiment of how absolute power corrupts absolutely. Meanwhile, we've got the Vought Corporation, which isn't just creating superheroes but is also shaping global events for profit. Reflect on our world's major corporations and their influence on the media, politics, and public opinion. It kind of hits close to home, doesn't it? Another aspect that The Boys nails is the collateral damage of superhero actions. In many superhero movies, buildings collapse and cities are leveled without much thought to the inhabitants. The Boys doesn't let you forget the human cost. With each superpowered skirmish, the cameras capture the harm to innocent civilians, focusing on the destruction and loss that would realistically follow such battles. Sure, we're still talking about a show where people have abilities like laser vision and can talk to dolphins, so realistic is a term we're using pretty loosely here. But in terms of character development, societal mirroring, and the consequences that might come with having superpowered individuals in our world, the boys absolutely takes the cake. Sitting here in Portland, Oregon, I can resonate with the not-so-subtle critique the boys brings to the superhero table. Just replace superheroes with some over-glorified tech giants or trendy companies, and you're not too far off from some corporate news we wake up to every so often. So, is it the most realistic superhero show? In many ways, it's a resounding yes, especially if you're skeptical about human nature, and you've taken a gander at how power and fame can corrupt. In The Boys, the superpowers are just a backdrop to explore very real human issues, a lens on our own world's complexities, if you will.